right, so good morning and happy Tuesday, friends. Dan Daniels here uh, with New Traditions Dulcimers, Shasta Flutes and Shasta Ukuleles. This is a real beautiful, beautiful dulcimer. This is number 892. This one is going down to Visalia, California. It is all myrtle, back, sides, top. It has a uh, hard rock maple uh, fing fingerboard and a wenge fretboard. It has a one and a half fret, the six and a half, the 13 and a half. It has a one of our uh, new traditions pickups installed into it. Six string. This is just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful instrument. I thought I'd kind of do a little bit of glamour shots here with it and then I'll turn the camera around and, and do some playing on it. This is our sun and moon sound holes with star inlays on the fretboard. And these are trimmed with, um, let's see if I can do this, it's all backwards. These are trimmed with black walnut. So there's a, a black walnut in, inlay into that uh, myrtle. And this myrtle is reclaimed. This is not just from a lumber yard. This myrtle is from Southwest Oregon, from an old lumber, uh, lumber stand where the fellows would go in and down trees and drive their trucks on those trees. And this that's where this wood came from. Um, Kevin Connors Mill goes up to Southern Oregon and finds these old logs, takes them down to Fresno and mills them into this beautiful masterpiece. God's handiwork, eh? Look at that. Solid Southwestern Oregon Myrtle. This guy is really, really heavy. I'm, I'm surprised. I was going to weigh it and to find out the exact specifications, but I'm guessing it's almost as heavy as, as my guitars. But because of that weight, it also has a lot of volume. So 892, this is going down to Central California. Uh, hopefully... This will be the last demo of the instrument, so it'll be, I'd like to kind of keep them around for a couple days, make sure everything works and, and nothing falls apart um, because of climactic changes. Uh, but hopefully it'll be shipped out this week. The customer has been waiting quite a while for this. He's got three others that he's waiting for as well. So uh, I want to get this one down to him as soon as possible. Six string, New Traditions, Hourglass, 25 inch VSL, one and a half, six and a half, 13 and a half. Uh, New Traditions pickup installed, solid um, Southwestern Oregon Myrtle with a hard rock maple fingerboard and a Wenge fretboard. And at the moment, the Wenge is the only non-American wood that we use. I would really like to find a replacement for that for so I could use a totally United States, totally Western United States woods. I'm not a real fan of, of using woods from foreign countries and, uh, and the deforestation that's going on in those types of places. And we want to be as, as American made as we can possibly get. Now I realize that the tuners and the fret wire and all that kind of stuff is probably coming from China, but I would love to have our woods all right here from the West Coast. And I've, I'm working on a couple of ideas. We'll see what happens. But this is a Wenge fretboard on this one with solid myrtle body. And it has some weight. So anyway, I'm going to change the camera around, play some tunes on it, and then uh, we'll bid you adieu. And we'll see you on the next video. New Traditions Dulcimers, number 892, solid myrtle headed out this week to Central California.
Well, I just had a second thought or another thought or this is the second thought of the day, actually. <laughs> Some of you might want to hear um, this little puppy plugged into my amplifier so, uh, so you can hear it with the pickup installed. So I thought I would do that for you. I'm gonna show you my, my beautiful amp. This is my PV Bandit 65. This thing has been with me for a very, very long time. It has um, been all over the United States on a variety of different backstage um, or back row setups. Back in my day as a performing uh, musician, a lot of memories yeah. attached. So it's not really rocket science, it's just louder. And it'll have some uh, control on it. Thank you. 